Oh, oh. That was. <laughs> I don't know what to say. Except that Shab's probably gonna go cool down because my God, he just came off a of game five set. Oh, oh they're ready. Oh, light and Shab's going at it right now. <laughs> oh, go, boys. So we got two young players, very aggressive, very fast paced, hot blooded. I want to see how this goes. Obviously, the favorite is Light. Light seated first for a reason. Mm -hmm. Second in TFW. But has he had to fight Shobbs yet? I'm not sure. Let's see. I don't think anyone's ready for Shobbs, even after they played him a few times. Yeah. I mean, Zay would... Oh, yeah, well... Bane is the... Yeah. Okay. I so. mean, we, we, we tried to dap the boy up, but... Mm. Nah, he's getting sped around too. No one is safe. I mean, Light's in good position to speedrun. He still has 30 seconds to complete his personal best on Shops. Shops, too good to get sped around though, so he's gonna try not to get that. I like the cross up up mirror right there. Good stuff. And this guy's really looking for a lot of whole lot, whole lot of nares. Yeah. Nair is a really good aerial for Falcon. Shops doing a good job bringing this back. Let's go. It's actually close now. It's a respectable game. Oh. He's going. He's going for the shops. I'm calling it now. Yeah, let's that go. Now. Let's call that the shops. Yeah, yeah. The the, the walk away to re to second hit a down smash at ledge. My boy loves his down air. Not down air, down smash. Yeah, he knows everything about Falcon. He's not dead. Oh no, no. Yeah, he's living. He's living. Oh. But don't punish that. Ooh. The people's elbow gonna take the first stock. And Light smiling about that. Surprisingly. Shops bringing it back. Oh my God! Called out the upbeat with the back air. Oh. Missing the jab confirms, but that's all Light wanted. He yeah, wants he... you to touch his shield, because he can just do up beyond his shield. That's all he wants. Oh, Zare to grab not going to work this time. Yeah, Shops the angle away, going off stage to avoid the grab. Up air, dash attack. Got yeah, Light flip kicks out oh. there, but now he doesn't have a flip kick. Oh. Uh, dancing around the shield. This is surprisingly even. We all know what Shops is looking for. Is he going to get it? Fast fall up there into me. That's the oh. oh oh. Yeah, Shabs new. Shabs new. Yeah, it, it looked like Shabs was about to challenge that with the downer, but the iframes on that just too good. Yeah, we saw that. I saw the downer too. Glad he picked up on that. And uh, while that could have made Shabs' uh, game, it also took it away from him. So good stuff on light. You know, for keeping his composure and taking that first game, but also good job on Shabs. He got his first stock taken like at fifty percent. And he brought it back. I was already ready to call that a speed run. Yeah. I mean, because that's one stock in 15 seconds. Yeah. It can happen again. Yeah, of course. But being able to to keep it even to the very end, to like 100%, that's solid, especially against Light the Lantern. And I like what we're seeing here. Usually we saw Shobbs opt for, you know, Battlefield whenever he had the opportunity to do so. But right now, I guess he realizes the potential threat that CSS poses on a triplat stage. Oh, for sure. And he's finally been like, okay, let's go to a different stage that's not Battlefield. Ooh. We're seeing a whole lot of jab jab. What do you think he's trying to follow up with? Like a, like a grab immediately after? No, I think he's going for the jab jab just to see how Light reacts. And then based on Light's reaction, he'll go for his own. Was that, that, was that, was that so soft back air to reverse up air? Okay. That brings back uh, memories of Melee with the Titman. Ooh. Best name for a move ever. But right now, it's the complete opposite of what we saw in Game 1. Oh, nice tech. Shobbs is actually doing a really good job keeping stage control. It's been a minute and Light has not taken a stock. This is wild. And it's been a minute and Light almost loses his stock first. <gasps> How did that not connect? If How did that not connect? I'm not sure, but... I would have had to break my nose scream and roll. I mean, we've already broken the... Oh, oh my god. That reached? Yep, it did. It did do that. We already broke the rule like five times, so there's no point in trying to keep it. I mean, speak for yourself. I broke it once. Was that jab to cross up back air? Okay. Dude, he's doing he's doing these jabs just to see how Mike takes it. It's chin checks. He's actually chin checking. Awesome. It's wild. Okay. Wild. okay. He's at zero. Yeah. He is at zero shots. Well, who knows? Maybe he was going to go for the double dunk. Oh, no, 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 not yet. Way to delay the recovery. He does not want to get spiked by that flip kick. Back air? Yes. Ooh. Ooh. All right. 
good air dodge, but that should be it. He does not have a jump. Yep. And the DI was also suspect. Game's lasting a little bit longer now, but the outcome is still the same. Light up 2 0. Sure, light may up be. Sure, light may be up 2 0, but in this case, I mean. As you said, these games are slowing down. I feel like Shops is getting a lot more comfortable within his own skin, within his within this own match. I mean, to keep going with the speedrunning metaphor, this is Light's newest game that he just picked up. So obviously, he's not gonna have all the strats down. Yeah, right he's, he's got to figure out all the kinks in the system. Yeah, he's got to find the glitches, all the exploits. But who knows? Maybe this is the one game that Light cannot successfully speedrun. Oh no. Okay, back here. He's buried. Up smash. Okay. Oh. With the platform shenanigans, light di back to not get closer to the blast zone. Okay. Back here. Oh, nice. Oh. Nice. I like that from light. Realizing that Shobs' best, like, I guess, favorite move to do is just jab. So he predicted the jab out of shield and just slowly scooched away to avoid getting jabbed and uh, punished with the grab. As you say that, Shops is also noticing this. He's uh, doing jab, jab to just run away. Yeah. Oh! Again, everything he tries to challenge flip kick with is just failing him. He ends up getting bamboozled by the iframes and gets punished. <laughs> yes. Oh, no. Oh. This is going to be the speed run. He's got eight seconds. Oh, five let's, seconds left. Let's go, Shops. Don't get sped around, Shops. We believe in you. He got it. He made it. He did not get sped around. Let's go. I mean, so who really... I mean, at the end of the day, the set's not over, but who really won? Light. I said it's not over. <laughs> Actually, no. Shab's got a three-day pass to Kamehameha uh, Khan. So that's that's the real winner right there. Hell yeah. Oh. Almost did the Shab's. The Shab's, Shab's almost did the Shab's. I, I'm the... <sighs> oh. Rapid boost. Come on, Shab's. Just do it for the fans. Do it for me. Do it for the boys at home. Do it for the guy on commentary. Oh, the chase down. And a solid, solid 3-0. Yeah. <laughs> it was by no means a speed run. But it was, I feel like, while he did not take a game, that was the most challenge I've seen Light have to put into a 3-0 in a while. In a 3-0, yes. I in a 3-0 specifically. Yeah, because we've seen, we've seen Light, you know, struggle against the likes of, you know, Karna, Austin at some points. Um, and then, you know, Light, while he's amazing, he's not perfect, so he's also susceptible to getting upset. But, I mean, for Shams' first time, you know, encountering Light and playing him, he, he show, he's showing some promise. I mean, that second game was pretty intense. I mean, it was even yeah. from the beginning till the end until it ended. Okay, I just want to shout out our top eight. So, taking first place, Light the Lantern, you know, usual. I mean, that man is seated first and is king of Red Line for a reason. Taking second, his source brother in Zay. Third, and winner of the Kamehameha Cod three day pass with Shabs. Fourth, with quite possibly the most amazing losers bracket run I've ever seen in my life, was Omega. Tied for fifth, we had Falcon coming back from retirement. We had the retired boys coming back getting fifth, both Falcon and Eidos. And getting seventh is the Highwayman and Jay. So shout outs to our top eight. All y'all did amazing. And it was, it was super hype. This top eight was super hype. The, my only regret is that I was hungry and I had to go get food for half a top eight. Yeah. So, I mean, honestly, I, I feel like I truly missed out on watching Omega. You, you missed, yeah, you missed, on, well, sadly, we only got to see the end part of Omega's run, the one where it got ended. Um, but, unfort. yeah, it's extremely unfort, but the, let the record show, my boy Omega did some work in that loser's bracket. But, you know, that's it for uh, Redline 65, season four, week 12. But before we go, I just want to remind everyone that this Saturday, is end of the line for elegant Tyroy coming. A lot of Texas coming. We're here to defend from the invaders. So even if you didn't sign up, I don't know if signups are still open. Only 128 max. Oh, signups are still open. So if you just want to be that kind of guy and sign up last second, you could still do that. Please do. Anger okay. RTO has messed up the bracket. <laughs> but yes. yes. Okay, okay, so signups are open till the day of. It's just that on the day of, there's going to be a $15 signups, whereas beforehand, it's going to be generally not $15. Yeah. It's so going to be sure, 30 Make sure to stop by. It's not uh, going to be 30 for, Don't Don't for, trust me. End of the line. Uh, but also, don't forget. 
Oh, Shobs wow. is giving his pass to Omega? So I think Shobs is not here. He's not going to be here for the convention. So, yeah. you know, good guy Shobs giving it to the next the next person in line, which is Omega, who definitely deserves it. Again, one of the greatest losers runs I've ever seen. But also follow uh, Source Gaming on Facebook at Source Gaming Lounge, Twitter at SRC Gaming Lounge. Not to forget that... Uh, 